long time ago, there was a town called We Humans. There was a man called Okonkwo. One day, Okonkwo went to the market, taking his son with him. There he bought a donkey. And on the way home, he let his son ride while he himself walked alongside on foot. After they had gone some distance, they came upon some people who began talking about the pair. The world is getting crazy and crazier, they said. That lot of a son. He's sitting there at ease on the donkey, making his old father walk alongside dripping with sweat. Okonkwo heard his comments and had his son climb down, and he himself took a seat on the donkey's back. Now the people will be satisfied, he murmured. Soon they came upon another group who likewise were expressing their thoughts about Okonkwo and his donkey. And indeed, loudly enough, that the Okonkwos could hear them. Hear them. Have you ever seen anything like that? That must be an unnatural father who makes the poor boy run on foot while he himself rides proudly along on the donkey. The Okonkwas momentarily halted the donkey. Climb up here with me, he said to his son. A short distance later, they came upon another party who likewise expressed their opinion clearly. Such animal abuse, isn't that shameless? For a cleric to torment such a poor donkey, couldn't the two of you use your own legs and give the donkey a little rest? The Okonkwo stopped once again, Climbed off, he said to his son. The boats dismounted and walked along on foot beside the donkey, but they had not gone far when they came upon another group of people who had also had something to say about the Okonkwas. They heaped ridicule upon them. Such a cheap skate is just like in to buy a donkey and is then to stage in to use the animal. He must be afraid that it will rub off the fur of its body. Which of the three is the greatest donkey? They just might as well carry the donkey on. No sooner than none. Okonkwo followed this advice. As soon as the people had gone, on their way he said to his son, If you ever should come into the possession of a donkey, never ever trim his tail in the presence of other people. Some would say that you have cut off too much. And others would say you have cut off too little. If you want to please everyone, in the end, your donkey will have no tail at all. Hello guys, thank you for watching to the end. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and be part of this awesome family. Please make sure to share to your friends and family. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers and have a wonderful life. Bye bye.